Right. We've got Mark White with us after an impressive 7 2 victory mm -hmm. against Conquer Rangers. What's your. What was your. Were you pleased with the result or not? Not really. Not massively. I thought it was. The, I thought it was the. With full, full respect to everybody on the field, I thought it was the Alfie and Jason show, really. I thought they were really the difference. Brilliant finishing, great movement in the box. They know each other's game really well. For those that don't realise it, you know, Alfie at 16 was partnering Jason at Bogner and they had a brilliant relationship. And when you see them play, they just know where the other one is. They know what type of runs to make. And I, and I genuinely thought they were the big difference on the field, really. I thought a midfield had better days. Nicky went off injured early. Jimmy um, had an OK game. Back three first half were great. Second half, I thought, were abysmal in terms of their uh, playing out. Um, so we've had strong words, to, to be honest with you. Um, really strong words. It's been a... Uh, that's been a teacup job at the end of the game but listen we we got to set high standards and we conceded two goals we couldn't get out of our box even though nothing changed in the game they still had a full press but we weren't determined enough to do the patterns we work on and uh, I wasn't happy with that so um, yeah so I thought for me you've only got to see the last goal to understand the difference Alfie's gone to the top of the scoring charts. His last goal was a brilliant goal. And I thought they were a big difference. And I'll say about Concord, I think they got some great players. And um, I think the finishing was the difference, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I thought uh, the, the two goals were soft goals to let in, obviously. We want to keep a clean sheet. And uh, they were a bit soft, I must admit, both goals. Yeah, I thought it went quiet. Yeah, listen, I, mean, I know games at, I know games at um, four or five nil were not easy. But, you know, the big thing I said before the game at half time was that these standards you set, you take into the next match, you know. So at the end, I told me that I thought, right, do I smash the changing room up? You know, do I, do I, you know, have a go at them? Do I sort of play it down a little bit and say, look, we could have done this a bit better? And, and I just thought, nah, no, nah, I'm going to have a go at them. And, um, fall out of them a little bit really because it, it, it wasn't as good as it needed to be and what I'd say is it's not the first time the second half not been as good as it needs to be yeah. I don't want to start getting these um, little common things because you know, if we're on that let's say in the playoffs you know we've, we've got to have high standards you know in a one-off game and uh, so but listen these are a great set of lads they're a phenomenal set of lads. They wouldn't expect it to be treated any other way. They get a lot of plaudits from me. They get a lot of well dones. I love them. They're brilliant boys. I wouldn't swap them at all. Even in the league above, I'd have the same squad. Um, but what makes us good is we've got to have high standards, mate. Philpott come off, was that just because he got a yellow card? Do you think that was a bit early taking him off? No, no, no. 2 0 on a yellow. Referee, I thought, was very, very quick on the whistle, and also, with full respect to him, made a lot of bad decisions that were just the wrong decision. So, I'm looking at it thinking, in match play, you're 2 0 up, you've got a really competent player who, who can come on. If that boy gets a second yellow randomly, then you're playing under pressure. And you saw how good Concord were when we did go down to 10 because Fogden tweaked his hamstring. Um, but obviously the irony was Dan Gallagher got another yellow card, the, the new yes, right back, yes. within five minutes. Straight away, nearly. So yeah, I'm looking yeah, around yeah. at the bench thinking, right, have we got any more right backs? <laughs> it is what it is. Listen, I'm really pleased the crowd came out again. The boys have scored a lot of goals. Our finishing, our quality all is quality something goals. else. All quality goals they It's were. something else, mate. But listen, let's not start lowering our standards now. Let's not start lowering our standards now. We've got a lot of football to play, a lot of games to play must keep our standards high. Let's talk about the players that went off. Obviously, uh, Phil put went off, he wasn't injured, but uh, Wheeler went off. And he, what was wrong with Wheeler? Yeah, he's hammy, tweaked hammy, not good. Not Fogden. good. Well, Foggy place... tweaked hammy, not and, good. And Old Acre looked like he was struggling a little bit. Dead like leg, luckily. Oh, was it a dead, dead leg? Dead leg, luckily, yeah. Dead leg, luckily. Uh, we've got a big squad, though, and we'll be okay. Um, we've got... I guess what two weeks left of the season is it? Yes. One week, yeah. Yeah, one week. We're yeah, done in two weeks. Double up, you double up. So, yeah. you know, that's three weeks if you like. If we end up in the playoffs, so there's enough time for them boys with the hammies to get themselves where they need to be. 
and were probably, you know, um, in a position where, we, you know, we um, next weekend we're going to know we're going to know what's what, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. Um, unless Maystone drop a drop a point somewhere, or if we drop a point, look, our aim doesn't change. Maystone, I've got to tip my hat to them. I think outstanding form. You know, I think that says a lot for how much respect they got for us. They, their fans, I think they know we, you know, we're capable. Especially as, as a lot of our boys have come back fit, and they know they've got to win their matches. But it's not done. Football, as they say, is a funny old game. Things happen when you least expect it. They'll know that. They're a good bunch. They'll know that. Um, from our point of view, we're just trying to find that. We're trying to find that point, that one point that can can make it a nervy finish for them. Definitely. Well, in the last few games, we've really started quickly and scored a lot of goals. You know, that's a crazy, isn't it? Is that what you? Is that, is that your plan? I know you don't. You maybe don't. Have... No, no, not really. I just think that we're really motivated right now, and I think it's unbelievable, isn't it? I yeah. think uh, it's. We've only scored about three goals out of twenty in the second half. Yes. But maybe that's your point you were making earlier. It's not good enough. No, but we chipped them three 0 second half. We didn't score a goal. Yes. Wasn't good enough. Um, so yeah, I think for me it, it, that's when you miss the likes of Luke Moore, the experienced players. You look at Luke on the pitch and say, Luke, it, he'll know to restructure the team and get us set up. So, but uh, we, look, we're starting. We can't complain, you know. And then sending the fans home happy. And all the time we got the likes of Pryor and Rutherford, and Fogden, McShane, and these big players we're always going to be in the mix aren't we and if we end up in a playoffs, we're going to be down here we're going to be at Meadowbank two potential home games and we're going to take some stopping mm. we're going to take some stopping but we're not at that point yet because next weekend is the absolute crunch weekend two games Maystone are going to win it or it's going to go down to the week after and everybody panics, including us. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So we'll see. But it's brilliant to be part of it, Gary. Do you know what I mean? We've had a torrid season, so to be part of it, we're really grateful. Sure. Well, well like I say, well done today. But Cheers, mate. Yeah. So we'll see you on Tuesday. We've got the Surrey, yeah. Surrey Senior Court of, of Semi-Final. I, and I really appreciate the, the crowd coming out. It's cheaper to get in. I know it's not easy paying for all these matches at home, but it's cheaper to get in. We want to get a real good home crowd. We've never been to the final of this competition and um, it's a competition we're going to be playing a full first team squad so we want to make sure that the crowd are here supporting us as, as always cheers thanks for your time mark cheers mate all the best